Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the professional featherweight division and it's for the vacant GTFP professional featherweight title. It is time to meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man has a record of seven wins and one defeat. Representing Team Titan, it's Chris Mir! And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. This man has a record of four wins and no defeats. Representing you, T.C. Stavanger, it's Jack Owen! Oh my goodness, Steve. It's co-main event time. Chris Mia, Jack Owen. I just can't wait for this fight, Brett. Chris Mia, 7-1, has taken a little bit of time off, but he is truly the definition of a professional fighter. He's taking on Jack Owen, judo player, 3-0 and as a professional. This is a huge fight for the Honey Badger and a welcome back fight for Chris Mia. Ah, I can't wait. Mia in the black and white trim, the, the short trunks. Owen in the black shorts with white and red trim and a fast and furious start. Head kick from Owen, but he's on the back foot there. Mia. Mia charging forward with that right hand. The frenetic pace to this fight to start. Like both guys throwing heavy shots. And I'm a little bit surprised because both these guys have a really good fight IQ. Not that this isn't fun, but this is dangerous for both. Sometimes you've just got to scrap, Steve. Aim well. Amen. Let it happen. Let them bang, bro. Let them bang. I think right now, though, Mia is starting to uh, make Owen think about the stand-up exchanges a little bit now. Oh, like a spring is Chris Mia. It's not going to take too many of those shots landing flush to ruin Jack Owen's night. Owen, though, the ranger of the two. Let's see if he can make that distance count, and he's landing shots there on Mia. Yeah, we got two, you know, pretty high-level grapplers here as well. And right now, forget that. Let's just throw bombs. And the corner <laughs> of Mia beckoning him forward, which is no surprise when you look at that corner and see Nathaniel Wood and Brad Pickett. I, I'm not even sure Brad Pickett's car has a reverse gear, so. And again, both happy to stand there. You pointed out the body type. Meyer's shorter, probably a little physically stronger, perhaps, but you got a rangey Owen who can use some awesome judo submissions and throws with that range. It's one twos from, from both guys at the moment. Mia with the hooks and Owen looking to set things up with that straight left. Both guys firing heavy leather here. Just standing in the. I, I'm surprised that they're both standing in the pocket and throwing. Maybe more so with Jack than Chris. It's chin check season, Steve. Wow. Here we go. Both still, you know, Jack's still bouncing on his feet, but Maya's constantly pushing him backwards. Shares in paracetamol currently skyrocketing. Oh, it's, it's a, a big, big shot! By, by Mia. Oh, and it's down, he's out, and the referee is gonna step in! It's over! It is Chris over! Mia is back! A huge right hand from Chris Mia. Put the honey badger down. He's back and he just called it. Chris Mia is back in UK MMA, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't care who you are. Bantamweight, featherweight, flyweight, wherever he chooses to go, that's an issue for people. I can't see people queuing up for any of that business, Steve to take a break like that and come back and look like you haven't missed a beat against a, an opponent as tough as they come as, across professional or amateur. Yeah. yeah but Chris, I, I, I'm going to say this now. Chris Mia, this is a name. Keep your, keep
keep your ears open, keep your eyes open, because if he's back full time, he's going to a big show. Chris Mia is a bad man, and that was a big KO here at Golden Ticket. Fight promotion seven. Wow. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please show your appreciation for both fighters in the cage this evening. And so we reach our conclusion, two minutes and 34 seconds into round number one for your winner via TKO. And now, GTFP professional featherweight champion, Chris Me. And your appreciation for Jack Owen. Chris Mia, it's been a long time since I've got to stand next to you and have a chat. And the first time I get to in a number of years, I'm talking to the new featherweight champion. How good does it feel to be back? Uh, I'm back and I'm going to make a run at some of the bigger promotions this year. I'm looking for a world title next year in some kind of promotion. Thanks for Golden Ticket for giving me the opportunity to fight a tough opponent. Um, I was a little heavy so this fight felt perfect for me at featherweight. Next year I'll have a look and see whether I want to go feather or light earth. And, um, I'll knock any, any 135 or any 145 out. 125 out if I catch them. But Chris, uh, we've known you for a number of years and you just get better and better and better. I know you took a little time off. How good was that for you? Um, the time off initially was for injuries. Um, but I've spent a year with these two clowns. Cage uh, is world champion and UFC event Brad Pickett. And they're helping me mold facets to the game together. As well as having Tom Reeves. Damien Trainer, some unbelievable talent locally helping me in the individual aspects and uh, Brad putting it together for me. No, they're in a better team in Europe, I'm telling you. I've said it on commentary, I'm going to say it again now. If you are back full time, it doesn't matter whether you're featherweight, bantamweight or flyweight, the UK needs to take notice. Congratulations, champ. <laughs>